G'day, it's John Hogan, CEO of Superior Group. I'm uh, here this week with Phil Hudson, and Phil is our International Sales Manager at Superior. Hey Phil. How are you John? Pretty good. Right. We're doing a short series here to just um, introduce you to the customers. Okay. And what we thought we'd do is ask you first of all, how long have you been in the marine industry? Um, I first got to the Gold Coast in 1979 and that was my real introduction to the marine industry and I came from the construction industry then. Um, I started building boats, my first boat association was fitting out a 30 metre trawler which led on to different smaller boats, bigger boats, finishing off managing a couple of bigger boats along the way. And uh, you're a chippy aren't you? I'm a chippy by trade, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've still got one of my original nail bags. There you go. <laughs> Can't give it up. What, uh, what attracted you to the marine industry? Uh, you know coming from Melbourne and moving to Queensland in the late 70s where the weather was always picture perfect and boats everywhere, naturally living, working on them, living around them in Main Beach for many, many years. I was a rat around that area for a long time. I just was attracted to it. Yeah. Where I wasn't attracted to it in Melbourne. Yep. Because okay? it wasn't that big. On the Gold Coast, massive. Yes. And what do you do at Superior? My role has varied a little bit over the years that I've been here, but at the moment, um, my role, and I hope it doesn't change, is uh, looking after all the international inquiries, the international agents, and the international licensees. I do very little work, although I do help the guys upstairs on local product. Okay, but mainly international. Yeah. And um, tell us something about Phil Hudson that probably not many people know. Yeah. Uh, have I got a past, a history? Well, yeah, I played a bit of sport in my day. I played first grade cricket in uh, in Melbourne, playing with and against guys like Max Walker, Ian Redpath, <laughs> Keith Stackpole. My the, and my greatest a highlight of my cricketing career, I guess, was clean bowling Clive Lloyd. Really? And there's not many people done that. Mind you, I did it in the nets. <laughs> and the biggest thrill I got was my father was watching me. Fantastic. Yeah. And he still talks about it. What a great story. <laughs> And the uh, last little piece of trivia I'd like to cover, is it true when you were managing the office in Abu Dhabi that you did overhaul a Harley in the kitchen? Did you have to bring that? <laughs> yeah, yeah I did actually. Uh, I bought a bike that was a bit of a neglect of wreck and uh, two friends of mine, three friends of mine helped me haul it up a small flight of stairs and yeah we put it into the second bedroom of the house. <laughs> One of the main reasons was I was restoring it through, through summer in the Middle East and a 50 degrees outside temperature in the garage was like 70 degrees. So it was a no-brainer to pick it up and put it inside. <laughs> getting it inside was fun, getting it outside was more fun. Because <laughs> we picked it up off a, with a crane from, yep. from the deck outside my living room. Send us a copy of the photo, it's a great oh, looking bike. Yeah, no problem. That's it for this week. Catch you later.